Dusty Rose, the American dream, asks you all to make his dream a reality and subscribe today, baby. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Adam and Tyler World. We have the results of WWE's Fastlane 2017 here for you to see. Um, my thoughts and everything else about the show. So, we first match we got we got Akira Tozawa, Mr. Ah, 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 and Rich Swan, Mr. Doo 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 Doo, dancing guy, versus Byron Kendrick and Noam Dar. Uh, I predicted Akira and Swan win, and they won. Nothing too special about the match because, like I said, once again, it's cruiserweights and nobody really cares. On to the second match of the night Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn. Once again, Samoa Joe decimated Sami Zayn. No questions there. It was a decent match. I was really hoping it would be an even better match, but for whatever reason, they, they just had it. Was a, like I said, it was a decent match. It wasn't anything super great, but like I said, once again, Sami, Sami Zayn got his butt kicked. Um, third match, we had the club versus Enzo, Ka Enzo and Cass for the WWE Tag Team Championships on Raw, of course. Um, of course, I said the club wins, but there was that little asterisk beside it because... Enzo Amore's foot was on the ropes, but they didn't see that uh, because Carl Anderson was pinning him and Luke Gallows, Gallows pulled his leg off. So they're going to, of course, talk about that on Raw tomorrow night. Like, hey, hey, yo, yo, we we beat you. Couple of haters, couple of haters. <laughs> but uh, that was the third match. The fourth match, we had Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. Um, this is an all right match. Like I said, I'm not a huge Nia Jax fan. Like I said, I really wish... I really wish she would dedicate herself, do whatever the heck The Rock did, because The Rock was never as big as her as far as weight-wise. But he got in the gym. I said, if you look at back at The Rock in 1996, he was just like a baby face, like had a little, still like had baby fat on him. Uh, but he started going to the gym, taking whatever supplements he's doing, steroids, whatever you call it, and he's shredded to the max, and he's like 43 or something now. If she could do that. She could be a monster and really look like a monster, not just a big old doughboy. She looks like she's about to explode out of her clothes, and that's nothing anybody wants to see. But, that being said, they went back and forth. Nia Jax was dominating her for most of the match, so that kind of was a bad sign for me because I picked Nia Jax to win. So, when she starts getting all like, ooh, you can't beat me, you can't beat me, then you usually get beat. Um, it was kind of a sloppy roll-up. They kind of rolled, like, Sasha got on her back, rolled her around and got her up. And rolled that little doe girl up. Pinder, one, two, three. Sasha wins. Um, fifth match, we had Neville versus Jack Gallagher. Once again, this is an all right match. I said it was nice to see the Red Arrow come back. Uh, Jack Gallagher put on a great performance. Uh, I said it was great for him. I said he got him in there a match for the title, so that helps boost him up. Neville, he won, so that boosts him up. Um, yeah, it was an all right match. I do like the belt, though. I might have to get it when it comes out on WWE Shop. It came out at one time, then they stopped it. Now it's not in there, but it's still a pretty cool-looking belt, if you ask me, even though I'm not a fan of the Cruiserweights. Um, sixth match, we had Braun Strowman, the guy who's 6'8", 385 pounds, versus Roman Reigns, who is like 6'5", and 265 or something. If this was a real street fight, Braun Strowman would have annihilated him. But you have one little thing in the corner, one itsy bitsy thing, and that's the fact that Vincent Mann is clearly in love with Roman Reigns. So he gets to fight for the title two WrestleManias in a row main event, and now he's going to get to go against Undertaker most likely. That was the biggest surprise for me. I figured Undertaker was going to show up and interfere. That way at least Braun looks strong still because, oh, okay, cool. Braun was winning, but in the, uh, Braun was winning and Roman Reigns was winning, but then the Undertaker comes out. And beats up Roman Reigns, so then of course Braun does win. So then you make both guys look strong. But instead, you just have Roman Reigns beat him clean right before WrestleMania. And you got the second biggest guy, the only big only person bigger than him is the big show, lose to Roman Reigns. And I'm losing my mind over this. Like I I really hope that they do actually bring up uh I can't even think what they're called now, I'm so frustrated. The the two Samoan guys from NXT and they group up Roman Reigns. You got like some kind of Roman dynasty thing. <laughs> that would be cool. But uh, I said, hey, please stop shoving Roman Reigns down our throat. He's a great guy. Whatever. I'd love for him to be a heel. That way he could get the respect that he deserves and earns. Can earn it that way instead of just like, oh, he's a good guy. He can beat anybody. He's a Superman. Like nobody wants to see a second John Cena where he just beats everybody. Beats everybody. Like. Braun should be able to beat Roman. They can go back and forth, but Roman should not beat him clean their first real match together. It's just, 
If I had hair, I would pull it out right now. But I don't right now. If you can see, a lot shorter. All right. Seventh match was for the women's championship, Charlotte versus Bailey. <laughs> Once again, I did a horrible job of predicting this one because I figured Charlotte was going to keep the streak. Eh -eh, not going to happen. So Charlotte loses the streak. Not only that, Sasha comes out and starts fighting with Charlotte. And then Charlotte like, throws her in the ring and they start going back and forth. At no point did the ref go, oh, that disqualification. Like He's supposed to say, oh, okay, you hit Charlotte or attacked her, so Charlotte wins by disqualification. But uh, I don't know. At least then, like, oh, Bailey could have the championship. But it's like, oh, okay, well, she has it, but Charlotte actually beat her and she could keep the streak because then she would have won. But no, they go back and forth. And then Sasha comes out, helps uh, Bailey. So now it makes Bailey look weak because, like, oh, I can't beat her without having Sasha there. Sasha never turned heel. They had uh, the show after. Like I said, they were all buddy buddy wearing the the huggers gonna hug hoodies. Um, it's only a matter of time, I believe, until Sasha turns on her. And then you got heel Sasha, which everybody would love to see. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was it was a decent match back and forth. A couple of mess ups. Bailey tried to jump on the second rope, stop, and she went back and tried to do it again, and she still missed her. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what to say about the women's match. Like I said, at least hopefully it won't be the main event at WrestleMania. Um, probably Roman with whoever he's fighting. Probably the Undertaker. Um, let's see. For the last match, it was for this, the WWE Universal Championship. Now, this one could have gone any which way. Like I said, if you saw the predictions, it could have had, I said, Jericho could have come out and interfered. Lesnar could have come out and interfered and helped Goldberg so that Goldberg has the title so Brock could beat him at WrestleMania. Uh, Samoa Joe could have come out and helped Kevin Owens. Triple H could have come out and helped Kevin Owens. Then when Triple H comes out, Seth Rollins comes out and helps uh, Goldberg. Nope. The only thing that happened was Goldberg and Kevin Owens were staring at each other. And Kevin Owens was starting the match. And he would roll out. He's like, oh, I'm nervous. I roll out back and forth. And then finally, he starts. He's like, oh, you want to fight? You want to go? You want to go? Let's start the match. And all of a sudden, break the walls down. Jericho's music hits and then Kevin Owens looks over at him and you're like uh oh this isn't going to be good and then you hear in the background ding 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 Kevin Owens turns around he's like no no I don't want to start the match Spear by Goldberg lays him out flat then he runs over picks him up Jack Hammer boom one two three in like 21 seconds was the match length I don't it's way quicker than when he beat Brock Lesnar at like a minute and 20 something seconds so you have a new Universal Champion in Goldberg. So, of course, he's going to fight Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar will probably have those titles on it after WrestleMania. And then Jericho and Kevin Owens are probably going to wrestle at WrestleMania for the United States Championship, which is down here. There you go. You can see it. United States Championship. So we got two of the matches for sure. And I said Roman Reigns probably for Undertaker. And that's about it. Uh, let me know what you thought about the pay-per-view. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Share with your buddies. Let them know that I have a channel and I got all these sweet belts if they want to check them out. Um, that's about it. I would give the show fast lane a C. It was all right. But then again, like I said, the pay-per-views aren't nearly as good now that they have the network. That's cheap. That oh, Okay, we, we can't afford to put that much story into it. So they just make it kind of a little bit of an amped up Raw or amped up SmackDown. And that's about it. It kind of stinks, but oh well, oh well. Well, that is it. I'm going to say it again. Don't forget to like, comment below what you thought, subscribe, and share with your buddies. That's it. Peace.